Today, I want to talk to you guys about the DJI FPV Goggles version 2. And sadly, I am going to be recommending you do not buy this product right now. Just to explain why I'm saying this, since the release of the FPV Goggles version 2, users have had problems activating them and using them with the DJI FPV ear units, specifically the normal DJI FPV ear unit, the Caddx Vista, and the new FPV ear unit from Caddx as well. This issue related to users receiving their FPV goggles version 2 in the FPV drone mode and not being able to switch them into FPV ear unit mode. The way the FPV goggles version 2 work are that basically there are two firmwares on the goggles, one for the FPV ear units and another for the FPV drone mode. The goggles version 2 work absolutely fine with the FPV drone and there are no problems there at all. However, users that bought the FPV goggles version 2 standalone received them in the FPV drone mode were unable to switch into FPV ear unit mode because that option only tends to show after the goggles have been activated and they have been connected to an FPV drone. This meant people who bought the FPV goggles version 2 standalone were left with a product they were unable to activate and unable to use. DJI did unofficially release a workaround for this that allowed you to downgrade the goggles version 2 firmware to an earlier one that did allow you to switch them into FPV mode. This did allow some users to actually get their FPV goggles version 2s working. However, it did not work for everyone and some people were still unable to activate and use their goggles version 2 with their ear units. Since then, a new issue has come to light that has triggered me to now make this video. That new issue is that even if you have your FPV goggles version 2 in FPV mode, if you are using them with a LiPo and it goes completely flat, there is the possibility of the goggles resetting and going into that FPV drone mode automatically. This again leaves you stranded and unable to switch them back to be used with the FPV ear units and as of today there is currently no workaround or fix to get around this. Users that have reached out to DJI support have basically been told that they need to send their goggles in for repair and there are posts appearing on forums such as RC groups and others where DJI have been telling their users that they need to be sent to their service center to help them switch to the FPV system. This is frankly unacceptable and as someone who does review this gear and recommend this gear, it leaves us in a really difficult position. I have been a massive supporter of DJI over the years and I've been very lucky to be involved with many things that DJI have done, including beta programs, helping them out on some of their social media groups and other things as well. However, I also have a responsibility to be recommending products to users that work and they're actually able to use them with the accessories that they buy. And the reality here is this, DJI have let users down with this situation and it's impossible for me to do anything at this moment in time other than say you should not buy the version 2 goggles if you are intending to use them with the DJI ear unit. If you are able to get yourself a set of V1 goggles, absolutely you are fine. The product works exactly as intended and there are no issues there at all. Furthermore, if you intend to buy the FPV goggles version 2 to use with the FPV drone, again, it's absolutely fine. You shouldn't have any problems at all. However, if you are someone that is looking to get into the DJI FPV racing system, right now I cannot recommend you do this because you could end up with a product that you are unable to use and having to ship back for a fault which could be repaired with a simple firmware update.
For me, it is sad that I've even had to make this video. However, I cannot with good conscience recommend a product that can brick itself when the user simply flattens the battery. It is completely unacceptable this amount of time after release that users are still facing issues with activating, issues with switching modes, and getting locked out from using them when the battery gets flat. DJI can fix this problem very quickly and easily with a firmware update, yet they have failed to do that. The workaround they've provided no longer works for many, and users are being left spending hundreds of dollars and pounds on a product that basically can lock them out at any moment, and it is simply unacceptable. As for what I recommend you do right now, well, if you are looking to get yourself digital FPV, if you can find a used set of V1 goggles, absolutely buy them when using with the FPV ear unit. It is still a fantastic system. However, if your choice is a set of version twos, then personally, I would consider looking at the Fat Shark system right now because they are being extremely open with their users, they're communicating regularly, and the system isn't bricking itself when the battery goes flat. If this information on the V2s changes in the future, I am more than happy to take this video down or replace it with a new one. But here and now, the do not buy recommendation will stand as long as this issue remains in place. I do just want to add as well, I am trying to replicate this in the background myself by trying to actually flatten it and running it off a power supply and also try to find a workaround for users that doesn't involve spending seven or eight hundred dollars on this thing. For me though, here and now, the only thing we can really do is recommend to steer clear and see what happens when time moves on a bit. And that's pretty much it for this one. If you've liked what you've seen, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. If there's any news, I will take this video down, replace it, update it, put some things in the comments as well. Please let me know what you think too. I'm really interested in your feedback on this one. Um, if you are facing the issue, please do let me know in the comments of this video as well. I'm really interested in seeing the numbers on this one. And if I do find anything from my own testing, I will share it with you guys as soon as I can.